गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो एज यू ऑल नो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक साइकल्स सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ऑटो साइकल आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट पी वी डायग्राम दैट इज प्रेशर वॉल्यूम डायग्राम एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस इन ब्रीफ अबाउट टी एस डायग्राम दैट इज टेम्परेचर एंट्रोपी डायग्राम सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल सी सम इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक साइकल्स so basically there are five types of cycles so first we will discuss about auto cycle so what is auto cycle the auto cycle is used for petrol engines means for example your bikes in bikes petrol engine is present so auto cycle is used there auto cycle describes the idealized functioning of a typical spark ignition internal combustion engine now there will be question in your mind that what is spark ignition engine so here the fuel is mixed with air and then inducted into the cylinder during the intake process it means that whenever the air is inducted into your cylinder it is not only the it is not only the air it is a mixture of air and fuel which is inducted into the cylinder moving further cycle that is diesel cycle basically the diesel cycle is used in diesel engine means wherever diesel engine is used diesel cycle is used over there then third one is carnot cycle basically the carnot cycle is referred as an ideal cycle means consideration of carnot cycle is there meaning there is no losses means there is 100% of efficiency then let's move to the further part let's talk about the auto cycle nicolas a otto a german engineer developed first successful engine working on this cycle in 1876 meaning the auto cycle was developed by a german engineer in 1876 this cycle is also known as constant volume cycle because heat is added and re- rejected at constant volume meaning when the heat is added and rejected there is constant volume so it is known as constant volume cycle we will discuss this in brief in pv diagram this cycle is used in petrol and gas engines now we will discuss about four stages in cycle basically there are four stages they are intake compression power and then exhaust now we will learn in brief about intake basically the intake is also known as suction there are two valves one is inlet and another one is outlet the outlet valve is also known as exhaust valve so here the inlet valve is open and the exhaust valve is closed so here what happens is the engine's intake valve is open so it allows a mixture of fuel and air to enter the cylinder now let's discuss about compression sorry i forget to tell you that in suction the piston moves from tdc to bdc so now the piston will move from bdc to tdc here both the valves are closed so as the piston moves from bdc to tdc the compression takes place and due to compression the temperature and pressure is increased now third cycle is power in power a spark plug ignites the compressed fuel air mixture and the fourth one is exhaust in power the piston moves from tdc to bdc so in exhaust it moves from bdc to tdc and the cycle gets complete here the exhaust valve is open so the gases comes out of this cylinder as the piston moves up so now we have learned about four stages in cycle now let's learn about process in auto cycle so basically there are four processes two processes are constant volume and two are of adiabatic process we will get this in brief through the pv diagram let's learn about the pv diagram and the ts diagram 
सो फ्रॉम झिरो टू वन सक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इट मीन्स दॅट दी एअर फ्युअल मिक्सर इज ॲडमिटेड इन टू द सिलेंडर ॲट कॉन्स्टंट प्रेशर देन प्रोसेस फ्रॉम वन टू टू देर इज कम्प्रेशन दी एअर इज कम्प्रेस्ड बाय द पिस्टन टू द मिनिमम वॉल्युम विथ ऑल द वल्व क्लोज दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज ॲडियाबॅटिक कम्प्रेशन देन प्रोसेस फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर सॉरी द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री इट इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज कॉन्स्टंट वॉल्युम सायकल ड्युरिंग धिस प्रोसेस वी सप्लाय दी हीट ॲट कॉन्स्टंट वॉल्युम दॅट्स वाय इट इज नोन ॲज कॉन्स्टंट वॉल्युम सायकल देन प्रोसेस फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर इट इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज ॲडियाबॅटिक एक्सपान्शन ड्युरिंग धिस द एक्सपान्शन टेक्स प्लेस मीन्स द मिक्सर बर्न्स अँड इट एक्सपान्स ॲडियाबॅटिकली दॅट्स वाय इट इज नोन ॲज ॲडियाबॅटिक एक्सपान्शन द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम फोर टू वन इज नोन ॲज एक्झॉस्ट इट मीन्स दॅट द हीट इज रिजेक्टेड फ्रॉम द एअर ॲट कॉन्स्टंट वॉल्युम नाव वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टी एस डायग्राम सो द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम वन टू टू कम्प्रेशन इज देअर सो हियर द एंट्रोपी इज कॉन्स्टंट हियर द एंट्रोपी इज कॉन्स्टंट बट द टेम्परेचर रायजेस हियर द एंट्रोपी इज कॉन्स्टंट बिकॉज वी हॅवेंट ॲडेड द टेम्परेचर इन टू इट सो द प्रोसिजर फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री हियर टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस अँड द रॅन्डमनेस ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस मीनिंग द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस and the entropy also increases as we add the heat as we add the heat the randomness of the particles increases the procedure from 3 to 4 is known as expansion so here entropy doesn't change and the temperature reduces and the process from 4 to 1 is known as heat rejection here temperature also decreases and the em- entropy also decreases as the temperature decreases the entropy also decreases basically the temperature is directly proportional to the entropy so now we will discuss about process of auto cycle so first process process 1 to 2 which is reversible adiabatic compression so here the air is compressed so we can see temperature rise as the air is compressed the temperature of the molecules rises then process 2 to 3 which is known as constant volume heat supply here heat is added in this process as the heat is added it can be written in equation that is mcv t3 minus t2 this is taken from the pv diagram which i explained before the process from 3 to 4 it is known as reversible adiabatic expansion as the expansion takes place the pressure and the temperature of the air decreases so the fourth process that is process 4 to 1 here constant heat rejection of the air is carried out it can be written as mcv t4 minus t1 i hope so you understood auto cycle thank you for listening me thank you so much